what we have seen lately is um, most of the uh, Alzheimer's treatment involving amyloid, anti-amyloid agents and various other modalities of treatment have spectacularly failed. While there is still some hope for the anti-amyloid agents, um, what is increasingly becoming important is the role of inflammation. So we have been looking at um, the neuroinflammation, particularly in form of microglial activation, to see what exactly it does to the, the disease progression. The first we started with uh, looking at established Alzheimer's disease. We tried to look at how the neuroinflammation relates to amyloid deposition and glucose metabolism. In established disease, what we have demonstrated is that they, there is increased microglial activation, which is associated with amyloid deposition. Interestingly, we also saw that increased microglial activation was associated with the reduction in glucose metabolism, suggesting that may be a cause for the neuronal damage. We then went on to look at how the microglial activation um, relates to the neuronal function in early stages of the disease. Uh, we know that 90% of the microglia are there in the brain right from birth. So it is reasonable to assume that these microglia may have some protective function. So what we have demonstrated in the early stage of the disease is that these microglia are elevated even in the early stage of the disease in MCI stage or pre-MCI stage. And interestingly, when you were to follow up these patients, we found there is a reduction in microglial activation. But in the later stage, we also found in established Alzheimer's disease, if you were to follow them up, the microglial activation increases uh, from the, the onset of Alzheimer's disease as, and as the disease progresses. In conclusion, what we proposed was that in early stages of the microglial activation, sorry, in early stages of the Alzheimer's disease, there is increased microglial activation, and this follows a dual peak mode of activation, i.e. there are early peak, which may be protective, and later peak, which may be causing neuronal damage. So we then known, <coughs> excuse me, we then went on to look at what actually is happening in the early phase in relation to the MRI changes and what is happening in the later phase in relation to the MRI changes. Longitudinally, what we could see is that microglial activation goes up in the early phase, then it comes down um, in MCI subjects. And in established Alzheimer's disease, microglial activation goes up and it pretty much stays the same. Um, what we then looked at in the MRI changes, if you were to look at established Alzheimer's disease, you will see that there is a reduction in a hippocampal volume as well as the MR volume changes. But in early stage, we found that there is the microglial activation is associated with a higher gray matter volume, indicating that early microglial activation could be protective. We are still trying to longitudinally follow up these patients, and so, so there's much more work need to be done. And we presume this could be due to the differential activation of different phenotypes of microglia. There are a few things which we are now trying to look at. One is um, how, if we were to longitudinally follow up the so-called pre-MCI MCI subjects uh, with the amyloid inflammation tau, and we're also looking at the relationship with the astrocyte activation. So these are some of the ongoing work. The, the first thing is we still haven't clearly understood what is the role of microglial activation. Um, it's reasonable to assume microglia is there to protect the brain, and there should be a homeostasis happening in the brain because of the function of the microglia. And what are the triggers where microglia become um, damaging is still uncertain. 
and whether there is some amount of microglia activation should be normally present for the brain homeostasis is another issue. And more importantly, to have an effective therapeutic strategy, we definitely need different ways of approaching the microglia. So we may have to promote the, the so-called good microglia or the microglia which clears the amyloid and protects the brain and also dampen microglia or microglial function which causes neuronal damage.